Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make an attendance sheet in MS Excel. It will give you mostly uh, help uh, for the teachers and yes for the beginners who want to learn like calculations of counting and all in MS Excel. So first of all let me design one format. So on the basis of that format I'll be explaining you how to uh, find the attendance sheet of some students let's say i want to prepare some schools students attendance sheet so i'll write here attendance sheet of march 2019 that's a serial number name of students so number and then we'll write here this or date whatever you can write date fine so what i'll do here uh let's say uh we have a example like we have a date here first second third fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one twenty two twenty three 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 and then we'll be counting like number of students present present and then number of students absent so in this case I want to arrange my columns in a systematic way so how do I do that? First of all, I'll click on the empty cells. I'll do the control A, control A, and then I'll go to the home tab. And from the cells group, I'll click on format. I'll go on auto fit column width. So if I do auto fit column width, then what happen? Uh, my columns will get automatically fitted. So I'll just do march and center this one in order to look more good. So I'll increase the font size a little bit. Let's say I'll give uh, 16 here and then even in date I'll do March. So till 1 to 30 is my date. So after that what I'll do I'll just arrange this also serial number. Okay and then I'll just give here border. Click on all the borders. Okay fine. So <clears throat> let me go and march this also. Name of the students and even roll number also even like number of presents i'll check here even i'll be checking here number of absence so serial number one i'll write here some students name let's say rita and then even roll number serial number two i'll write here rita. in your case you can give it more student also but for your demonstration purpose, I'm taking only two students. So let me give role number one and then a role number two. In this case, in Rita, she is present on the first day. So I'll give her P. And then second day also she is present. I'll give her P. Third day, fourth day present, fifth day present, sixth day present, seventh day is for Sunday. Let's say I'll give her S. And then again Monday she is present, present. And on 10th she is absent. She is absent, she is absent again. I'll give your present, give your P denotes for the presence. So, present presence again, Sunday, present, 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 absent, Sunday, present, 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 absent, present, present. So, uh, number of stud students present now. In this case, I want to find it out how many days this Rita has present on in the month of March. So how to calculate that? It is very simple that uh, like it is like similar to the other formulas. So what we have to do here, we just have to type equal. As I already said that uh, equal is very important like whenever you want to do some formulas in Excel. So therefore I type here equal. So what we do here, we'll write here one formula that is like inbuilt formula C O U and T count. I am if open the bracket now I want to count from which 
range to which range now in this case range means what like i want to count from first to last that is 30 Mean, meaning is that from first till 30th how many days this Rita is present how many days she is present so I want to find it out that one so my first that is like my one lies on column D you can see here straight this is my date one so this date one is straight to the column B so what I'll do here I'll type here D and then similarly Rita lies on four row so D4 is for Rita that is d4 is for 1 d4 and then I want to I want to see that she is I want to count that she is present uh, she, she, she is present or absent from first to 30 so what I'll do I'll write here is 2 and then I'll go for the last column that is 30th column so if I see here sorry if I see here the 30th column lies on az so what I do here, I'll type here A Z. The row uh, the row number is similar. Similarly, the row number is four. Click on uh, just press on four. Then give here comma double inverted comma open T four present double inverted comma close. Then close the bracket. So once I hit the enter key, it will show me how many days this Rita is present on the month of March. So let me enter key. Okay, twenty two days c is present so and the remaining days is sundays and then absent so how can i find out even like absent also the formula goes like here similar so what we have to do the first of all we have to type equal to count if okay the the range will be start from one that is from first date that is d4 shift and give this to and the last column is az that is 31 az 4 comma double inverted comma open a denotes for absence so i'll type here a so double inverted comma close close the bracket enter key 5 days c is absent so 5 plus 2 is equal to 27 uh, 5 plus 22 equal to 27 and then here i guess three sundays i have given here 1 2 three yes obviously the three sundays so these cases you can find it out how many days this rita is present and how many days she is absent easily you can find it out in this way and then similarly for the second case also you can give randomly present 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 absent sunday present 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 absent sunday present 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 absent present sunday present absent present and here also we can find it out equal to co you are count if d5 is to ag5 comma here double inverted comma open t4 present close the bracket enter k23 days this gita is present so similarly for the option also count if d4 is to oh sorry d5 is to AZ5 comma here A4 absent plus the bracket. So for this C is absent. So this way you can find it out at a sheet uh, very easily. Thank you.